All right, Cowboy Nation, really appreciate you all for jumping in. My name is Law Nation, and we're going to talk about the signing of Jeremy Sprinkle. I know a lot of people looking at this saying, saying oh, Lord. Cowboys made a move, man. They made a move on a tight end. He's six foot five, two hundred and fifty-five pounds, and he's from Arkansas. So there's some Arkansas ties to it. Jerry Wyan Jones, you know how he do it with the Arkansas kids. He's a blocking tight end. He's not a vertical threat by no stretch of imaginations, and um, he will be a guy that will fill in that role of Blake Bell. You guys remember Blake Bell came in occasionally to block, and trust me. We need help at blocking, and that's always something that you got to pay a strong and a good attention to. Now, when you look at majority of his film, you would not see vertical threat out of Jeremy Sprinkle, but what you can see is that, man, he can run those little shallow cross routes. He can run those small intermediate and short routes, and he can block. That's the name of the game for him, blocking. Now, as far as out there on the field, vertically stretching this thing, no. As far as will he be the end all be all? Will the Cowboys stop looking into the draft because they picked up this kid, Jeremy Sprinkle? No, no. Player evaluation is still 365. You got to understand that you got to leave no stone unturned. And in a pinch, man, six foot five, 255 pounds, that's something that you would need that on that line as it relates to end line blocking. And as well as in line route running, although he's not the greatest of that, he can at times. Now, I've managed to look up some of the tape. And when I looked at a few of the films there, (laughs) Jalen, Jalen got his number. Jalen got that kid's number, uh, especially underneath. And and majority of his film, when you look at Jalen versus uh, Jeremy Sprinkle, will be in 2019 season as well as the 18th. That that kid was just pretty much covering him like a blanket, and that's the Jalen Smith that we really uh, are accustomed to seeing. But here's the situation, Cowboy Nation. We got to say to ourselves, when the Cowboys bring in talent, it is just what it is. F- trying to fill in some of the areas where we might have a need at, and continuing to figure out ways to improve this team, even if it's on the smallest or the smallest level. I know a lot of people are going to be saying, man, come on, Law, but Jeremy Sprinkle, now all of the Washington, Washington fan knows, you know, like, man, do hands are made of butter, right? <laughs> he can't catch. But he can block. Intermediate routes are there. He can be one of those guys that they bring in just for that cup of coffee to see if they can help expand this thing out. I'm not finna bash the kid. All I'm saying is, Cowboy Nation, that the evaluation do not stop. It do not stop there. We always got to continue to leave no stone unturned and figure things out. That's just the bottom line. Now, when we look at majority of his tape and we look at some of the things that he is able to do, we got to understand this too. How can we implement him into our system? And what do he know about the previous system that he just recently played on? That's what it's about. This is guerrilla warfare. This is war, baby. They got to look at it in those ways. So Jeremy Sprinkle, Cowboys made a move in the free agency and expect for more moves to happen. Expect for more moves to happen because you got to make sure you cover everything before you head into this draft and after the draft there will be players released there will be players out there on the street and you sit there and say man i'm gonna get rid of this guy to bring in that guy because he can be a little bit better in these situations and i'm I'm always like this why am i like this cowboy nation why well here's the reason why mike mccarthy In middle school and high school, he played tight end. Mike McCarthy is known for being able to get those tight ends in the right position and the right spacing and things like that. And hopefully, I mean, just that his evaluation of Jeremy Sprinkle (laughs) will sprinkle some good stuff for us, regardless of whether or not you like it or not. You still got size, six foot five, 255. 
but is this Kyle Pitts? No. Is this uh, Hunter Long? You don't know. They still – look, I believe that the Cowboys in this draft might still draft a Hunter Long because that's normally the flavor that the Cowboys like to exhibit and exude, you know. And there's nothing wrong with Hunter Long. I think that he will fit well in this system too. But that's just how it goes with this particular uh, situation that we are in as it relates to the Dallas Cowboys. And we ourselves got to look at it like this. Okay, can he help out Ezekiel Elliott? Can he help out Tony Pollard? Remember, the tight end is the extension of the offensive line. You got to be able to mask a lot of stuff. You do. You flat out do. You got to be able to block. You got to be able to play fullback responsibilities. In a pinch, can you line up inside and run a route? Oh, can we line you out on the outside? No, no, no. They can put, they can put Jeremy Sprinkle on the outside. But – they will look into his tape and they will figure out ways to put him in positions to win. That's it. That's it. Cowboy Nation, I want to know your thoughts. I want to know how you guys feel of Jeremy Sprinkle, uh, whether or not that's something that the Cowboys should have should been looking at from day one out of the free agency as a tight end. Uh, I do know last year we had a few names that people was throwing out there that the Cowboys should take a look at I mean, we never took a look at and then we then we brought in blake okay cool yeah so cowboy nation let me know post me your thoughts post me your concerns down below my name once again is law nation that's been my time i really thank you all for yours and remember you're listening to nothing but the best go cowboys go jeremy sprinkle sprinkle some love over here baby <laughs> sprinkle me sprinkle me <laughs> Sprinkle Jerry Wine Jones in. Shout out to Arkansas. Appreciate him. Let's go.